Oh, and I'm sorry if you guys can hear like licking and breathing noises. I do have the two pugs in here with me. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Erica from Brains to Beauty and today I am bringing you my top five favorite drugstore foundations. I am so excited to do this because I've been seeing a lot of people do these top five videos and I thought these are really awesome, but every video I've watched each person has like a different set of foundations and there are some foundations that people mention that I personally do not like at all. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to share my top five because everybody has different skin, everybody has different wants, needs, desires. And so I thought maybe I should talk about the top five that I like and why I like them and why I think you guys should try them out. Before I begin with that, I want to mention that I do not have the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation that is nowhere on my list of foundations. I actually tried it out and returned it because I really disliked that foundation. It gave me major cake face and it oxidized throughout the day. I tried it two days, so by the time I got done at the end of the day, my face was orange. My foundation looked like foundation. It was really, really cakey. I have oily skin and it did not look good on me. It didn't look natural and it looked like I was wearing heavy makeup, which sucked so bad. And I know people like rave about that product. I hated it. Maybe I picked a bad batch, I don't know. I got it when it first came out, so you would think it would be like really fresh and nice, but it was a no-go for me. It was a bad, bad, bad foundation. I wanted to do this video because I did not like it. So anyway, if you guys are like me, you tried the CoverGirl, didn't like it, then maybe these top five might be a better match for you. Okay, so the very first foundation I want to talk about is my Revlon Nearly Naked. This is in 180 medium beige. This actually matches me well right now, but I'm not wearing it. This foundation was probably higher on my list, except more recently I've been really liking a little bit more matte because it is humid in Florida during August and September. So for me, this was a really awesome foundation during the winter when my skin was a little bit more dry and I wanted a little bit more luminous glow. I really didn't want a matte foundation. And so I really, really love this. This would have been like like top two in the winter time, but for now in this very humid like summer conditions, this is my number five. This is like light to medium coverage. So you can do multiple layers and get more medium if you really want, but if you just want really lightweight, glowy, luminous look, this is an awesome foundation. I like it a lot. People think it's a little watery. It is, I will agree to that. But once it sets, it has this really nice finish. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to set than other foundations, but for me, I think it's totally, totally worth it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that you have to pour it out. It's a twist top, so this is one of those foundations that doesn't have a pump, which makes me really sad. And actually, only one of the foundations I'm going to show you today has a pump, which is the next foundation, and it is my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This is SPF 20. This other one is also SPF 20, so I do like foundations with SPF. And this one I have in W6 Sun Beige. The only reason why this one's number four versus this is because this one matches me better in color. But really honestly, I think these two could be potential dupes because they both have a very luminous glow. They're both very sheer to medium, like light to medium coverage. And they both have the same like staying power. Like for me, both of these actually last all day. The only downside is, is I do get oily towards the end of the day, but I do set it with powder and it does a great job. And another reason why I like this one better is for the pump. It actually has a pump. I love the pump. It's, it just works so much better for me with the pump. It's less messy, but these two are definitely like the luminous, sheer light to medium coverage foundations if that's what you guys are looking for. So my number three foundation is actually the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is the super blendable makeup and I find it really ironic that it says super blendable because it's blendable except it dries really really fast. So it's blendable as long as you like blend it in like right off the bat and it does blend really really nicely like you can sheer out the edges so that you don't get like harsh lines and it blends really nice into your skin but you have to do it kind of fast because it sets really quickly, but it is a medium to full coverage, and I mean serious full coverage. Like, if you use this, you probably won't need 
any concealer, especially if you use it with your finger. So if you want to get like one dark shade and one light shade, you can contour with this. And I actually found this through Candy Johnson and she shows you how to have flawless foundation with this and she sold me on it and it really does work nicely if you use your fingers. Or you can use this with your beauty blender, which you know, your beauty blender has water so it's very like moist. And so it actually keeps this from drying out too quickly, which I think is probably the second best method. The only reason why I prefer fingers over the blender is because I think you can get better coverage if you use your fingers. Okay, so my second foundation is one you guys have seen a lot. This is the Revlon Color Stay in 350 Rich Tan. This is not my shade anymore, neither is this, and so I actually did my makeup today mixing these two shades. I actually have a tutorial for this entire look, so that should be coming up here pretty soon. And what I did was I mixed these two foundations. This one's way too dark and this one's way too light, so I mixed them together and they gave me this really awesome like finish. I look really glowy because I put in a third light over here and it's making me super bright. I hope that this video doesn't come out really crazy, but really in person, it's a really nice finish. It's not very luminous. It's set really well, and I, I just love this combination because they're both matte foundations, so I can wear this all day, and I'll probably only have to blot once, while with other foundations, I'll have to blot two or three times, and I don't like reapplying um, powder during the day. So I, I like these for that reason. This alone is medium to full coverage much like this. The only difference is this one doesn't dry as fast, so you have time to like blend it in and get it into your skin. And together they're actually like the perfect combination. I love these two mixed together. Their formulas like work really, really nice together. Honestly, this one's a little bit more mattifying for me, which is why I like it during this more humid season, which is really, really nice. Which brings me to the next foundation, my number one all-time foundation. This is my Revlon Color Stay Whipped. If you guys have been following me from the beginning, I rave about this foundation. I still rave about this foundation. I would wear this foundation, except it doesn't really match me right now. This shade is kind of slightly a little dark for me, and the downside is, is I would get a lighter shade, except this comes in 370 Natural Tan. This is what I have, and the next one is like 340 or 330 and it's like three shades too light so in order for me to use this I would have to get the lighter shade and like do a mix and match kind of like what I'm doing now but there's such bulky packaging that I almost don't want to have like two of these at one time it's a little bit heavier in coverage but it doesn't feel heavy on my face on my face it just feels really soft and luxurious and it fills in my lines and pores really really nicely like it almost works like a nice bb cream or like a um a primer because it really just i don't know what it is but the finish of this when it sets it's just so nice i i can't explain it i have no idea how to explain it because it's not necessarily luminous and it's not matte so it's like this beautiful combination of the two and I think it just makes me look flawless. I absolutely love this foundation. I can't get over it. Very much like their um, their color stay sister, but I just, I think the cream totally brings a different dynamic to the texture and the feel and the and the setting of it. And so I can't tell you how much I love this foundation. The, I, the really, the only downside is one, it's bulky. There's a lot of glass. Like, as you can see, there's a lot of excess glass in here. I don't know what the purpose of that is, so it makes it really bulky and kind of heavy. It takes up a lot of space, and they don't have a lot of shades in this foundation. I think they only have like 10 options, and like I said, there's a huge gap between like 370 and 330, so if you just happen to be in that like in that middle area, you're gonna have a hard time finding a shade. And I had like a nightmare of a time trying to find the right shade of this foundation when I first bought it. I almost like gave up on it, but I love the texture so much I couldn't. I, I just had to have it and I love it. It's my favorite. So anyway, that is it for my top five foundation. I do have combination oily skin. I do get drier on my, in this area, 
but everywhere else is pretty oily. I get really, really shiny. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, I did film this tutorial. I did create this like shimmery blue smoky eye. If you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe. It will be coming up here pretty soon. And if you guys like these videos, make sure to thumbs up. That way I know to keep doing them. I want to do my top five blushes. I have a lot of different things that I want to show you. So if you guys are interested, please let me know down below. Comment in the comment section. And of course, follow me on all my social media. I am on there quite often and I do love talking to my subscribers. For those of you who already subscribe, you know that I always respond and I always reply. So yay, that is it. Make sure to let me know what you guys want to see next and also let me know what you guys think of this new lighting with the extra bulb. It's quite bright, but if you guys think it looks awesome, I will keep it. If you think it's too much and it's making me really shiny face, let me know down below. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Erica from Brains to Beauty. Hey guys, it is Wednesday evening. And I'm not ignoring you, I just forgot to charge the battery as usual, but um, I've been editing, but I really want to show you something super freaking cute before I go to bed and pass out. Big dog, little bed. It's not a little bed, he's just a really big dog. Aren't you a really big dog, Chan?